Well, welcome back for another season, guys. This video, we kick off the New York opener. Moved about 10 to 12 birds a day, um, grouse at least. We moved a couple woodcock, but I was getting into a lot more woodcock um, in preseason runs over there, so I don't know if they left on us or not. We hit a flight spot um, and didn't get into any flight birds, but we got limited footage um, just because there's so many leaves, but hope you guys enjoy and check back throughout the season. We'll have lots Bye. more videos coming. Come on, get in here. Bondo, let's go. Is that a grouse? It was a grouse. Should have. Buck, come on. I saw that. I heard it. No shot. Can't run up them hills like that anymore. <laughs> See, there was one point above me, maybe 50 yards. Yeah. I was hustling up there as fast as I could get. He was, he was on one of those U turn points. He had been coming across above me, and he just. I went. I start hustling up there, I'm hustling up there. I try to get above him a little bit. It's about time I got level with him. He broke point in a hurry. It was like, whoo, 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 yeah. long bounds. Like, he's gonna flush that thing. Man, he locks up again. Now he's down below me a little bit, so I'm starting to work my way down. He breaks again, same thing, three light gallon. Whoo, whoo, whoo. I thought he's gonna flush that fucking bird. He locks up again. Now he's like 50 yards from me again. I'm trying to get down, trying to get down, trying to get down. I'm huffing and puffing. And I think he saw the bird. Yeah. I think it moved again and he saw it and he just and that freaking thing took off. I saw it when it took off. I knew which way it was going. But it was just so much beach brush. Yeah. I never saw it again. Was that thick up there? But it hit an open spot or I just even got a glimpse of it. I pulled the trigger but I just never saw it again. Right. Was there a that one sitting here by the road just killed me. And we're out there talking the back of the uh -huh. I course. didn't see it. I heard that. Yeah. And then I saw this limb going like this. <laughs> I was sitting in that tree. My dad said he saw it fly across the road. Yeah, why the hell didn't he shoot it? Um, well, I'll tell you, it's the old timer singer. Well, we struggled on day one to get quality shots just because so much leaf cover on right now. So, next we roll into day two. Yeah, and we got into a bunch of birds in day two. We actually found a few more woodcock on the second day. Um, but picked off a grouse with the 20 gauge and ended up finding one with the 16 gauge a little later on. So, hope you guys are enjoying this. Hang with us. Um, drop us some comments as we go through. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Um, we're always looking to share information and help other grouse hunters out. Thicker than a bitch in there, isn't it? Three fucking birds. I didn't get a shot at any of them. No shit. First was a woodcock. He was all over it. He must have been in there for a while. He was the one that then up and they moved. He's nothing. He comes to a big cherry tree that half of it broke off. Yep. He's on the other side point. So I walk up there, broke off point, and I stand there. I was looking on the ground in front of him. I couldn't see him. So I go around the cherry tree, it fucking takes off. <laughs> I was right out in the open field. <laughs> so we start going down further, and he goes on point. And then, he, and then he's sneaking, which I wish he would have done with the other one. And he's on point. 
and he's thinking, and your dad goes, I just heard one. I said, I did too. Well, some time ago, somebody piled up a whole bunch of rocks in there. Uh, it took off right at them rocks. Huh. So we go about another 40, 50 yards. Dad goes, there goes another one. I come out to the, it's like a pipeline. Yep. Across. That bird went right to the edge of that pipeline. So Caesar got there and found where it was. Yep. Perfect point. It wasn't there. Go on. He wouldn't leave it. And feed came over. No, it was, uh, it was that one. Jack. He was pointing. That bird had already flushed. Huh. Two grouse and a woodcock. And he fired a fucking shit. I seem to be frustrated like that. It's the way it goes sometimes. That woodcock. Chris, if I just could have gone another step. Good bird. Uh uh, Zingus, no. No, Zingus. Good boy, bud. Drop. Drop, 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 drop. Well, we're on the board. Yeah. Big old male. In there, dead bird, buck. Get in there. One of my goals this year is to kill grouse with every gauge. So, started with the 20 gauge because it's the gun that I know better than any other gun. And you'll see later on, move on to the 16 gauge next. And actually, move to the 410 next. And I got a good video clip of that. So, that should be coming soon here in the next week or so. Like a potato or something. Oh. It does have a skin on it. Yep. Hmm. What the hell is it? Amazing. What do you think it is? I'm thinking. Oh. I bet you it's some kind of mushroom. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's what I was just thinking. Kind of tasted like that. Yeah, and you think about where we found that bird today. No hard mass there. Yeah. Well, now we're rolling into day three. We got into a bunch of birds again. Um, but again, footage was pretty tough. You'll see Mike recapping a couple different spots that we hit. Um, where he got into a bunch of birds. I didn't necessarily get into many birds in those spots. Um, You'll see how this kind of plays out as we go. It's a great weekend with these guys. Had a ball. Man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And come back next time. Should have another video by next weekend. Thanks, guys. I see Caesar like on point and I walk over and start looking and there's Bond. He's honoring Bond. Bond's like this. For about three minutes, never moved. Yeah. Pointing up in the tree. But there was nothing there. Huh. It was that bird. Yeah.
But that dog winded that bird up in that tree after it left. <laughs> and, and just held it. I, I yelled for you one time. <coughs> I just wanted you to see it. Yeah. Then I was, I mean, I was probably standing there about three minutes, four minutes, and I, I heard this. And the grouse make that noise. I thought, maybe there's another one in there. Yeah. So it's not in there. I'm two dogs in there. Well, Caesar was just pointing with bonds like this. But there wasn't another one. Nothing. Yeah, that, that, she was like, <laughs> point right up in the tree. Right. When it took off, I had a feeling it sounded like it took off out of the tree. Yep. The bird. The bird, Buck. Break. The bird. Good boy. Come here. Come. Come. Buck. Come. Come on. Come. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Well, it's the first grouse I saw this morning. Checked the old 16 gauge off the list. Trying to kill grouse with every gauge shotgun that I've got from the 410 all the way up. So. Yesterday we checked the 20 gauge off the list and today's the 16 gauge, so be moving to the 28 gauge next, I think. So, it's a really young bird though. Had to be brewed from this year, but it's super young, so didn't even have a full tail paint, so yeah. on the board anyway. Young bird though, look at it. These are down, whoa! Yeah. Not much tail to it. No. Middle ones. <laughs> yeah. Where's the rest of them? <laughs> right. The only survivor. Oh, you said they're breaking up this. Yeah. With them drumming, they must be breaking up. It's the only reason I can think of them drumming. Yeah, and then the C1 by itself. Yeah. That's a really young bird. That's the youngest bird I've ever shot. I believe it. Must have been a late hatch, you think? Second nest? Yeah. Would make sense. I mean, this is this time of year, you never shot on that long. I've never seen one with tail that short. Huh. Not this late. Makes me wonder if you got them pulled off, but the whole bird itself is that small. You know what I mean? It matches the rest of the size of that bird. The one with the 16 gauge. Uh huh. 16 gauge is off the list. Well, we lost a ton of footage from this trip. Uh, but it was a pretty solid trip. Shot a bunch of birds, and you'll see in the pictures next. They'll be a tip. But got a couple more grass on the third day. So it's a pretty solid uh, few days in New York to open up the season. Pretty happy with the dog work, and looking forward to next week. Eight feet. Oh. Grouse dogs. Yeah. <laughs>